Hello everyone, welcome to Afro New South Africa. If you are coming across this channel for the first time, you are very much welcome. Please kindly subscribe to our channel and share our videos. Hit on the notification bell so that you would be notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you all for your support. With just weeks until the start of Jacob Zuma's corruption trial, the Office of the Solicitor General, OSG, has stated it will sue the former president for 18.2 million rand plus interest in allegedly unpaid state-funded legal fees. We serve letters of demand and receive no response, the OSG informed News24. The next step is summon service, which is the process in which the Office of the State Attorney is currently engaged. That ongoing action could scarcely come at a worse time for Zuma, whose corruption trial against French defense contractor Thales is scheduled to begin on the 11th April. Zuma has now filed a motion to reschedule the case. Why? urgently attempting to resuscitate his failed Supreme Court of Appeal bid to have Billy Downer removed as his prosecutor, SCA. While Zuma is certain that Downer should be dismissed for alleged lack of impartiality and independence, his seeming refusal to stand trial may possibly be motivated in part by his apparent inability to pay a potentially length and costly corruption trial defense and his financial difficulties would be exacerbated further by the state prosecutor's 18.2 million rand case against him. After the SCA directed it to take all necessary steps including the institution of civil proceedings to recover the amount paid by the state for Mr. Zuma's legal cause, the state attorney has no choice but to recover taxpayers' money that Zuma previously spent on multiple legal challenges to nearly every aspect of state corruption case against him. Zuma's appeal against the North Guten High Court's full bench judgment that he was not entitled to state funding of his corruption trial legal cause was dismissed by the SCA in May last year. Why Zuma contended that withholding state money for this cause would violate his constitutional rights, the SCA rejected that argument, finding that enabling officials to avoid accountability by using state resources to obstruct or delay a prosecution undermined the public interest. Additionally, it discovered Zuma had received unrestricted state funding for his legal cause in an illegal blank check arrangement that is condemned as a gracious. A payment order may well be necessary to remedy the misappropriation of public resources, vindicate the rule of law and reaffirm the constitutional principles of accountability and, con and transparency, particularly as applied to a former incumbent of the highest office in the land, Judge Nathan Ronan wrote for the SCA. Simply deferring payment without mandating an accounting and repayment accomplishes none of those critical remedial aims. Following the judgment, State Attorney Isaac Chowe issued a July 2021 report detailing the government's earlier expenditure on Zuma's legal fees.